Maestro here. Uh, we're gonna set up a lowering. So this open end is gonna be, would be attached to our, our load, our victim. So open up the Maestro. You can see the way to reeve it here. And here you can even see our load sign, the weight sign on the far end, the hand sign here. So I like to just take my rope, feed it through, make sure it's caught by the teeth here or underneath that. Closing the maestro is super important. When you close it, you wanna make sure this button is uh, above and through this groove here. And now I've got the rope that I'll be lowering on my left, my load on the right. I'm gonna put this into a carabiner. Down and away, is that what we're doing? Uh, up and toward us. So we got that. And I'm going to make sure that it's locked. So now it's locked. You want to do a function test first. So I would, a function test on this is pull on my load side and that's locking. So that's good. Now there's three, do you want me to demonstrate the different? Yeah. There's three different uses of lowering. Uh, one thing, a uh, personal rule I've kind of made up is I would never grab the handle until I've got my hand on the brake, even with the Maestro. You still always want a hand on the brake side. So I grab it here. I grab it here with my brake hand. Now I can grab the uh, handle on the Maestro and start pulling it and I could then lower down. So that's one method for lowering. Can you demonstrate that again one more time? Um, yeah, so, so grab the brake side with your hand and then grab the handle and you can start pulling the handle down to let's allow see, the rope to go through. Let's see some movement in that rope. And then release that handle. Now if I release the this. handle, I still got a hand on the brake. It's gonna catch on its own, but the rule is always to have a hand on the brake side too. So if you're on something really low angle or you just wanna belay someone, you can do the same thing. You can take your hand on the brake here. So you still got a hand on the rope. You can grab up here your finger and then feed it through like this that way if something gets pulled out of you it just comes out of your hand and it locks on its own and that's also. called the whistle test right? so if that's our like whistle test or I like to use the one-handed this is more of a belay action okay I've got the hand going through my my thumb there one finger here I'm not holding it with my whole hand if anything I had to pull me or something like that just stops when you're safe there. That's awesome. If you need to uh, pull out rope, if it's super low angle, once again, you can kind of just either hold it like this, and if I have to help him get, get some rope out, I could pull this way. So I always like a hand on the brake side. Here's the groove on the outside of our Maestro. If we want more friction to incorporate this horn here, We've got our hand on the brake line. We reeve up through that groove, up to this horn, pull back down. You always keep your hand still on the brake line. Now you can open the Maestro and you have a lot more friction there. So often it's actually better to start this way. If you don't know how much friction you need, you can start this way. And if it's too much friction, then you can take it off and lower down. All right, we're gonna demonstrate a one-to-one. -one. Uh, basically, there's no mechanical advantage, so the nice thing about the Maestro is all we do to do a one-to-one -one is to start hauling.